You know, for me, I try to focus on the issues that matter the most here. And while I obviously care about what happens to me, I am the least important part of any of this. This is not about me. This is about us. Uh, and when I see these, these changes in government where we see uh, these candidates who are extremely authoritarian, they believe that if we have the power to do something, we should do something. We stop thinking about wrong or right. We stop thinking about should or should not. And instead, we focus strictly on can or cannot. Uh, these, I think, are civic dangers uh, to everyone. And these are the things that we have to focus the most on resisting, not individual cases, but broad social cases. And this is the thing that I think we begin to forget when we focus too much on a single candidate. Uh, the current president of the United States, President Barack Obama, campaigned on a platform of ending mass surveillance in the United States. He said no more warrantless wiretapping. He said he would investigate and end uh, criminal activities that occurred under the prior administration in the Bush era. Uh, we're talking about uh, torture. We're talking about extrajudicial killings. And we all put a lot of hope in him because of this. Uh, not just people in my country, not just myself, uh, but people in Europe and elsewhere around the world. It was a moment where we believed that because the right person got into office, everything would change. But unfortunately, once he took that office, we saw that he didn't actually fulfill those campaign promises. Uh, Guantanamo Bay, uh, the secret prison in Cuba, uh, which he had promised to close on the first day of his presidency, is still open and likely will be on the last day of his presidency. He embraced the policies of mass surveillance, uh, extended them, and entrenched them. And this isn't to criticize this president particularly. This is not to say uh, Obama is what we should be worried about. This is to talk about a broader point, which is we should be cautious about putting too much faith or fear in the work of elected officials. At the end of the day, this is just a president. If we want to build uh, or live or enjoy the fruits of a better world, if we want to make sure that the rights that we uh, have encoded into our laws are actually reliable, uh, that we live with them and pass them to our children, this will never be the work of politicians. This can only be the work of the people, of the population, because politicians do not simply do what they think uh, is best. They do what they think people want to hear. They think they do what they think will gain them support. And ultimately, if we want to see a change, we must force it through ourselves. If we want to have a better world, we can't hope for an Obama, and we should not fear a Donald Trump. Rather, we should build it ourselves.